All right, now Samsung has started rolling out a brilliant update to its own voice assistant, the Bixby. I know you guys don't like Bixby, but if you watch this video completely and if you get to know this feature, I'm sure you're going to use it more often. So keep watching the video. First, I'm going to show you how this feature works and then I'll explain you how you can set it up on your phone. So without wasting time, let's dive right in. Now I will make a call to this phone from another phone. As you can see, I'm getting a call. And at the same time, you can see Bixby is activated here. You see right there at the bottom, we have Bixby active. Now to accept or reject this call, I don't really have to touch the phone. So without touching the phone, I can use the voice commands to accept or reject this call. As soon as you get the call, all you have to do is answer the phone or you can also say answer on speakerphone or if you want to reject the call, you can just say reject call. Let me show you that. As you can see, I'm getting a call on this phone now. I will just say answer the phone. As you see, the call is being answered. I haven't even touched the phone. Through the voice command, we will be able to answer the phone now. Now let's reject a call. Now I'll just say reject call. That is just fantastic, isn't it? I don't even have to wake up Bixby or press any button on the phone. I can directly answer the phone or reject the call through a voice command. Now this works for alarm and timer as well. Let me just show it to you on the alarms. As you can see, the alarm is ringing here. I can just say dismiss alarm or snooze alarm. If I say dismiss alarm, the alarm get dismissed. I don't have to touch the phone. Dismiss alarm. I can also snooze the alarm by just saying snooze. Snooze alarm. This is certainly useful, isn't it? Now let's go ahead and see how exactly to set this up on your phone. Let me first show you the change log for this update. As you can see, the version number is 3.2.12.16. And in the change log, it says, do more with Bixby. Here is what's new. Whenever there is an incoming call or an alarm ringing, you can accept the call or stop the alarm without waking up Bixby. In case of an incoming call, just say accept call without needing to say hi Bixby first. Then it says, this feature is currently supported in English, US and Korean and available on the Galaxy S22, Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3. Support for additional models will be added soon. This is a bummer for now because it is not available on all the devices. However, I'm sure this will be pushed for the other devices very soon. And then Samsung says how to activate this. On Bixby settings, we need to turn on talk to Bixby without wake up. Bixby automatically listens to you while there is an incoming call or an alarm ringing. This is what is clearly mentioned in the change log and kudos to Samsung for explaining it so well. Now let's go ahead and open the Bixby app. As you can see here, after the voice response, we have got an all new tab here or an all new option, which is talk to Bixby without wake up. This is the new feature we have. I will just tap on this one. As you can see, we have a toggle here, which has to be turned on to activate this feature. Below this, you can see it says when your phone alarm or timer rings, you can say relevant commands to Bixby without voice wake up. Supported commands for phone, answer phone, answer on speaker phone, reject call. For alarms, dismiss alarm, snooze. And then for timer, we have got dismiss timer or restart. Only these commands are supported for now. And that's for all these three applications only. And I hope Samsung will add more applications also in the future. Now there are some more conditions here. It says talk to Bixby without wake up won't work when earphones or Bluetooth devices are connected. When this feature is turned on, Bixby can respond to other people's voices. Voice recognition accuracy may vary depending on the device status or external environment. So you have to keep all these points in mind while using this particular feature. Now, when you turn this feature on for the first time, it will ask you to download Samsung on device resource. So you will have to download this from the Galaxy Store. Once that is downloaded and installed, this feature can be enabled. Now there is another limitation for this particular feature to work. That is the language setup. If you remember in the change log, Samsung has mentioned that this feature is currently supported in English, US and Korean only. So for this feature to work, the language has to be US English only. If you are living in any other region and you have got the update like me, you will have to change the language preferences. For that, all you need to do is just go to Bixby settings. Under device settings, you will see language and voice style. Here we've got language, just change it to English United States. Once this is set up, we will be able to use this feature effectively. 
This is how we can get this feature work on our phone, provided this update is available for you in your region as well as on your device. If you don't own the eligible devices, you don't have to be disappointed because these updates definitely will come to your phone as well, at least for some of the latest devices. Anyway, this is a great feature Samsung has added on its Bixby Assistant. Even though I don't prefer using Bixby as my voice assistant, I'm in love with this feature and I see myself using this feature more often going forward. You guys let me know what do you think about this. Do leave a comment and share your thoughts about this feature. Do let me know if you have got this update on your device. That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead, smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.